Well, isn't this a happy house? Yeah. <laughs> this is not a happy house. Well, you just said this was a happy house. Well, that's not what I meant. It was sarcasm. Well, who the hell knows what you mean when you won't say what you mean? I don't like how you're treating the children. Look, Kitty, I'm not going to let our kids go down the wrong path. But if you have a better idea, I'm all ears. Okay. Maybe you could be a little less strict and a little more loving. <laughs> okay, Kitty. Enough with the sarcasm. Thought he could sneak out. So, what now, Ho Chi Minh? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Playtime is over. Your friends are no longer allowed in the house. Wait, what? No, no, we'll talk about it in the morning. Fine. We'll talk about it in the morning. We'll talk about how your friends are no longer allowed in the house. <laughs> you know, I have an interesting idea. Why don't we not punish him? Why don't we try a little of that forgiveness that Jesus was always talking about? No, no. This is for his own good. Look, in order for Eric to be a happy, well-adjusted adult, he has to be miserable now. That's just good parenting. If I was to be Mr. Nice Guy now, do you know what would happen to Eric in a few years? Do you? Oh, Eric! Breakfast! Well, there's my sweet little baby boy. Why, oh, why didn't I discipline you? Shut up and eat your cornflakes. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> Never surrender, Kitty. Never retreat. We're winning. The fact that Eric was desperate enough to climb out his window shows that everything is working. <laughs> you hear that? I don't hear anything. That's right. Nothing. That's the sound of discipline. No, that's the sound of jail. <laughs> this house used to be fun until you made it miserable. Well, I'm sorry, Kitty, but I think it's working. <laughs> oh, you do? Yes, I do. Oh, you do. I just said I did. <laughs> 